Hi, welcome to episode 134 of The Corner of Knit and Tea. I'm Laura, also known as Fluffy K on Ravelry, Fluffy Kira on Instagram and Twitter. I blog over at thecornerofknitandtea.com, which is where this episode and every episode show notes will be. I have an Etsy shop called The Corner of Knit and Tea, where I sell my hand spun yarns. And we have a Ravelry group called The Corner of Knit and Tea. And if you haven't come over and joined us, please do. I am getting ready to start a uh, knit along, which technically could also be a crochet along, um, for socks in May and June. And um, there are very few rules. They need to be adult socks. They have to be less than 50% started um, by May 1st. You have to finish them by June 30th. Come over and chat with us. Uh, with uh, uh, We can chat all about socks and patterns and yarns. Um, and there will be prizes. So if you are a sock knitter or have been wanting to knit socks or try them um, for the first time, please come on over and uh, check out what we're doing. So hi, how are you? It is Sunday, April 23rd. Um, it is bright and sunshiny out, although I have not been outside yet, um, but it is making me happy today. Um, we have had a pretty good week, um, mostly regular stuff at work. Uh, Wes ran his second half marathon for the season yesterday. It was uh, the Garmin uh, Oz Marathon. Um, we're in Kansas, so a lot of things end up Wizard of Oz related. And he got a really cool medal for finishing. It has a um, tornado on it and it actually like spins in the metal. It's really cool. Um, so he did that yesterday and then yesterday we spent most of yesterday afternoon kind of zonked out. We had gotten up at 4 a.m. to get him there um, for an early, early start time, which ended up getting delayed um, for a variety of reasons. But so we were up super early and we zonked pretty hard in the afternoon with a nap. I got lots of crafting done after we woke up. Um, and today is just a usual day around the house with some chores and things. This upcoming week should be exciting because it is time for Ply Away. That is Ply Magazine's uh, conference. This is the second year that they are holding it and they actually hold it here in Kansas City, which is exciting for me because I do not have to travel or pay for a hotel. Um, so I am taking the second half of the week off. I am taking a full day dye class with Natalie Redding on Wednesday. Um, Friday morning, I am taking a spinning lace class with Maggie Casey, um, who is one of the great, great spinners in the world. I absolutely had to take a class with her since she is coming. Um, I am super, super excited. And then on uh, Saturday morning, I am taking a class with Jillian Moreno, um, who last year published a beautiful book. She plays a lot with color and texture. And so I am very excited to uh, take a class with her. It was actually a class she offered at last year's Ply Away and got rave reviews. Um, so I decided to sign up for it today, uh, for this year. So I am taking Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off of work. I could not be more excited. Um, if you are coming to Ply Away, please give me a holler. I would love to meet up with you either in the marketplace um, or for a meal or just to say hi. Um, and next week's podcast, I, I don't have, um, the conference is actually over on Saturday, so I should be podcasting as usual on Sunday and I will have lots of feedback about the conference. And normally I don't usually show my stash acquisitions, um, but I make an exception for the local events. So um, I will have stash acquisitions, hopefully not too many. Um, I need to give a little bit of thought to some projects I'd like to do and what yarn I might like to buy for that. So that is what I have going on here. It has been an exciting week. And like I said, I'm looking forward to this week because it will be a very short work week for me. And um, that is always exciting. <laughs> so let's jump into things this week. I have lots to talk about. Um, the first thing, let's cover the tea. Today I am drinking Argo tea. It is green tea, cinnamon, orange. Um, I discovered Argo because they have storefronts in Chicago and I met someone there for tea one afternoon, um, one of the times I was visiting my sister. And so I stocked up on some tea. This one has green tea, orange peel, cinnamon flavor, safflower, blue mallow, sunflower petals, natural orange flavor, natural clove flavor. Um, and I am drinking that in my Maryland Sheep and Wool Crabby Pirate mug. And um, this one I did not buy. This was a generous gift from a friend. Um, 
Maryland Sheep and Wool is coming up in just a couple weekends and I wish I could go but um, I have play away this weekend and I'm not going to be traveling this year um, but yes so this is a special souvenir mug and um, my orange green tea this one is quite good um, we are working through the stash of things that I have already reviewed for the blog now um, so this one is quite good there is a review on the blog I will link to it in the show notes um, and that's what I'm drinking today Okay, so let's jump into knitting. And of course, something fell off the table. The table is really, really packed today. So um, yeah. So the first thing that I finished and I'm going to talk about is my new design. Um, but part of talking about it is that I am going to review the yarn that I used. So this is Mountain Meadow Wool. It is their Alpine DK base. It is a three ply worsted spun. Um, it is 100% Mountain Merino Targi, made in Buffalo, Wyoming. Um, it, it comes in 260 yards to the skein, and the colorway is moss. And it is this absolutely gorgeous green. And this is the cowl. Um, it's actually an eternity loop that I have done. So you can see it blocks out quite large, um, meant to be worn either long or wrapped around the neck. Um, I really loved this leafy lace pattern, um, which is, comprises the bulk of it. It's got a simple ribbing at the top and bottom, and then you've got the leaf lace around. Um, let's talk about the yarn. The yarn is beautiful. It is, um, I don't even know how to describe it. It is super soft, not in the way that I always find um, merino or cashmere to be soft, but it is, um, it's a little wooly um and almost i don't even want to say cottony but that's kind of what it feels like it is super soft to the touch and once it blocks it just has a really really nice hand and actually a drape that i don't often find in um worsted spun wools um and it stood up to um the test of ripping quite a bit which i needed to in um this project so that was really nice um the colorway is beautiful when i got it um I looked at the green and I was like, oh, it's a little bit duller than I wanted for my project, but it really has, um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, it really has a lot of subtle variation. Um, when I post pictures on Instagram and in the pattern, you'll be able to see that. Um, it has a lot of subtle variation and it is really, really beautiful. Um, so I, uh, this is my cowl design. I am calling it Wood Sorrel um, because the name of the least leaf pattern is wood sorrel um the pattern is off at the tech editors this week and then i am looking for test knitters so i will be posting about that in the group and on instagram um and if you are interested in test knitting i used approximately 450 yards of a dk weight i think you could probably do it with a light worsted weight as well um, and uh, you're welcome to use Mountain Meadow DK, although you do not have to. That is what the pattern is written for, um, but I'm sure you could substitute in any number of nice yarns. So uh, the yarn was, like I said, beautiful to work with. I um, am really thinking about going back and ordering a sweater quantity because I think it would make a really, really nice pullover, um, nice and warm. Um, like I said, it's got a beautiful hand, really quite soft. Um, for um, what I think of as, I mean, I had, had expected it to be a little bit more rustic, um, but it absolutely is not. So that is my finished object for this week and my review on Mountain Meadow DK. I will be publishing a post midweek about um, the yarn and um, if I, I cannot remember if they sent me a discount code. <laughs> the email that they sent about it um, is a couple months old, so I need to reread it, um, but there may be a discount code in there. And if so, I will publish that on the blog post and link to it in the show notes. Um, and so that is, um, like I said, my finished object and my review of Mountain Meadow. Um, I expect that um, I'm going to give the test knitters a couple weeks. I expect that the pattern um, should release early to mid-May. Um, and if you are interested in test knitting um, or in knitting the pattern, please let me know. So that is the first thing done for this week. Next up, I finished my first sock. So this is another partially finished object. Um, obviously the project is not finished. Oops, I got tangled in yarn. So hang on two seconds. Um, this is my first 
finished sock. These are the Avenues socks by um, the knitting expat. That is Mina. It is part of her New York sock collection, um, which you can purchase all the patterns in a bundle for, I believe, $19. Um, the club is still ongoing. She releases a new pattern the first of every month, so um, May should be a new pattern. Um, or you can, buy, uh, you can buy the patterns individually, I believe, for six dollars seven dollars i cannot remember exactly what they are um but it is a simple slip stitch texture the yarn is spun right round um 80 20 uh sport weight the pattern is written for um fingering weight but i went ahead and adapted it for the right number of stitches and whatnot um for my feet i did a simple um uh heel flap slip stitch heel flap with heel turn um that is actually not what is in the pattern but it is what fits my foot the best so that is what i chose to do and um this one is done and now i just need to cast on the second one um since i am already fairly far into these and i probably will cast on the second one this week this will not count for the knit along um but we will see what i get done this week maybe i will hold off and cast off the second one on may 1st um my plan is to hopefully get two pairs of socks done during the knit along since it is May and June. Um, but that is, like I said, my first sock. I absolutely love this yarn. I have a sweater quantity of this colorway and I am starting to think about if I can find something to match the purple in there, um, doing some kind of simple sweater with the speckles and um, with purple kind of edgings. So that is the second uh, finished object of this week, although it is not a finished project. Um, we'll get started on the next one. The third whip, which I am making good progress on and I'm very happy about, is my um, dragon baby blanket. As you know, this will be another design that I am going to release. Um, I am honestly just waiting to finish the first one, take some really nice photos, and get the pattern sent off to the tech editor. I do not know if I will have this one test knit, um, A, because it's a pretty, pretty simple piece, and um, B, because I don't know that there are a lot of people out there who specifically want to test a dragon baby blanket. If I am wrong and you are one of them, please let me know, um, because I will even send you the pattern now so you can get started on it. I am um, almost three skeins into this, so I am fairly far in. I am getting closer and closer to the end, and actually it is a goal to maybe finish this this week. That would give me um, next Sunday to take beautiful pictures. The following Sunday is the baby shower, so um, I need to get my pictures done soon because it will um, be a gift soon. Again, this is a simple um, dragon scale pattern that I found, and I have worked out all the numbers and gotten it into a blanket form. Um, it is green, like everything else I am working on right now, um, and so that is coming along nicely. My plan is to um, try and crank on that and get a few more repeats done this afternoon, um, and then a few more in the next couple days, and then I should be done. Um, so that has actually knit up quite quickly. I am very pleased with it. Um, and I will be moving on with that one, hoping to release it early to mid-May as well. Um, yeah, so that is kind of all I have to say on that one. It's not a super, super exciting project, although I am excited to ultimately release the pattern. And I've just got a little bit left of this skein. Um, my guess is it's going to take about four and a half skeins of Cascade 220 Superwash. Um, my goal was somewhere between four and five. Um, uh, mostly because uh, usually I knit blankets with four skeins and I do not, um, I do not, uh, end up with quite a square. Usually I end up with sort of a rectangle and I really wanted this blanket to be more square. So I purchased the extra fifth skein to make sure that I could make that happen. And, um, so my guess is I'll use about four and a half skeins, which is about, let's see, four is 880. Um, and, uh, Five is 1100 yards, 1100 yards. Let me think about it. Yes, 1100 yards. So um, somewhere in between there. <laughs> so around a thousand yards. Um, and that is worsted weight or Cascade 220 is really a light worsted weight. Um, so you could probably get away with DK if you wanted. Um, but I chose Cascade 220 Superwash because this is a baby blanket and um, it, I find that holds up pretty well to um, washing and um, kind of uh, rugged care um, because I'm not going to knit something in um, heirloom baby yarn uh, because babies are just going to spit up on their blankets. So that is that project. Um, I am also super excited because this week I got the last skein for my Find Your Fade. 
As you remember, I was working on this um, quite quickly for a while and got stalled when I did not have enough yarn to finish. Um, I explained that several episodes back. So um, it has been sitting waiting for the yarn that I ordered. And I ordered a yarn of Blue Moon Fiber Arts yarn because um, I needed something that was pretty close to full black. And so if you remember, this is kind of, I'm trying not to drop everything. This is kind of where I left off. It is a black with lots and lots of um, kind of the burgundy in it that matches the previous color and some yellow. And this is the even more subtle version of that. This is one of her Thraven colorways. It is Corpy and it has just a little bit of purple and then just a little bit of green right there. It's really, really hard to see because it is almost pure black. It just has these little um, kind of washes of color in it. And so I am going to wind that up and hopefully finish this um, maybe even this week because if I finish, um, because I'm gonna be off work on Thursday and at home, um, I don't have a class that day and I may go to the conference, but I may not. Um, and so my plan is to crank on everything. Um, and some of that includes this pattern. I am hoping that I will be able to maybe finish this this week. Um, get it finished before May 1st, um, which would be really nice. I am working on it with um, Tiffany over in the Woolen Homestead. She has a knit along that ends on the 30th. Um, and until I ran out of yarn, I was sure that I was going to be done by then. Um, but then I have been waiting for a couple weeks because Blue Moon Fiber Arts is dyed to order. So this is actually, I forgot to say this is Socks That Rock Lightweight. Um, and I need to wind it up this afternoon and then get knitting. I am very excited. This is going to be the carrot I use um, to get me to finish all the other things that I need to finish this week. So you will be seeing this one one more time. I will not bring it back until I am done with it, um, but hopefully that will be next weekend as well. So that is, those are the knits that I have had this week. Um, it has been, like I said, a good week. I've been super crafty. Um, now let's talk about the spins. The spins are actually going to be just a wee bit boring this week. So last week I brought a braid of Southern Cross fiber that was blues and browns and a little bit of orange and a lot of white. And I spun that up this week and that came out beautifully. It is South African super fine um, merino, which is just gorgeous. I tend to spin it really thin. It is super soft um, and it is from Southern Cross fiber. As I spun this, um, I really thought about the potential of doing a um, combination spin with something else that I had received in the mail. And um, this spin I am doing for as part of, um, well, I wanted to spin it anyway, but I am doing this spin as a part of Southern Cross Fiber um, suggested for April that a fun spin along would be book club, which is pick um, a Southern Cross Fiber bump that you have. Um, that reminds you or can sort of be related, reminds you of or can be related to a book that you um, are reading, have read, have enjoyed, would like to recommend, um, that kind of thing. And um, then spin it and um, you can potentially read the book along with it. But um, just that was kind of a theme for the knit along this month. Or spin along, sorry. Anyway, so I chose space. And the book that I chose was one that I read last year, which was called Seven Eves by Neil Stevenson. And I really don't even want to talk about what the book's about because anything I could say would probably give a lot away. Um, but what I will say is that the book takes place primarily in space. So um, space seemed to be the um, appropriate uh, uh, spinning for that. Um, so after I spun this, or about partway through when I spun this, if you follow my Instagram, you'll see that I posted a photo, I thought about adding another braid to it um, and doing a combination spin. And the braid that I thought about adding, which had somewhat matching colors and slightly different colors, is a club braid that I got from Hello Yarn just a month or two ago, and it is called Breathless Air. And it is browns and blues um, and a little bit of... Um, 
almost yellows in it, kind of browny yellows. Um, and the browns are slightly different and the blues are slightly different. And I wasn't a hundred percent sure if they went together. Um, and I took a really nice picture of the bobbin um, half spun with some of the first fiber and some of the second fiber and a whole bunch of people gave me the thumbs up on the photo um, to go forward with the combo spin. So I have started spinning this one. This is a Rambouillet and it is quite fluffy. Um, and I am spinning this one uh, this week and then I am hoping to finish spinning this fiber since I've already started it. I am hoping to finish this spinning this these singles by Thursday so that on Thursday when I am home, like I said, I'm planning tons of crafty things, I can apply the two together and have two finished skeins because it'll be eight ounces worth um, and have two finished skeins for next week to show you. So um, that is what I've spun this past week and what I am spinning this week. And hopefully they will come together to make some beautiful skeins. These are skeins that will be in the shop. So if these um, interest you, please let me know. Um, I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to apply them. Usually I just apply in one big eight ounce skein, but I thought about maybe applying in two four ounce skeins so that if someone only wants one skein, they can purchase one skein. And then if they want both skeins, they can purchase both skeins. Um, I don't know that it would change the price that much. So, um, so yeah, we'll see. So that is what I am working on um, for this week and or this past week and this coming week. And I will have that to show you next week on the podcast. And then I'll probably have some new fiber and some new spins to think about. So I think that is all I've got um, going on. As I've said, come over to the group and check out the sock knit along. If you are interested in test knitting either of my designs for me, please come um check it out, uh, send me a message, or I am going to post a thread in uh, the group about that. And I guess that's about it. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful week. And I look forward to returning to you next week and getting to talk about Ply Away. So I will say, as I always do, have a wonderful week. Happy knitting, happy spinning, happy sipping, and I'll see you next time. Bye!